Yeah, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Nico Rantanen. Start with Peter Baugh, the athletic. Nico, um, Garrett always talks about looking at the process rather than the final result. What did you think of the process of the way you guys played tonight? Yeah, it was, uh, I don't think we were bad today. You know, some, some breakdowns there and uh, what cost us a couple of goals and, and uh, that's the hockey games. You know, we had some really good chances. We probably could have easily scored on a good night, probably six goals tonight. So, but uh, that's hockey sometimes and their goalie was making some good saves and, and uh, we were uh, not scoring. So, so that's the game. I see your hand again, Peter, go ahead. Yeah, you have a view of what happened right at the end of the game with Nate and Mayo and Gabe. Uh, yeah, I think just a high stick, pretty hard high stick. He was bleeding, bleeding, and then Nate got um, obviously mad about that. So, so then they just went at it, and then Landy and the other guy, whoever it was, uh, went at it too. So, so uh, I didn't. I think it was because the high stick, for sure. Say questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar, Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. What was your view of, what could you see, what was your view of and your opinion of what happened at the end of the game? Uh, in regards to Sorry, Terry, you have to unmute yourself again. The scuffles, the, the, the uh, scrap. Oh, yeah, I think um, while we were lining up for the faceoff, I think when the puck hit the ice, looked to me probably like maybe Nate took a high stick on that would be my guess. I mean, it was hard to see. I wasn't really watching Nate in particular, but took offense to the high stick right off the faceoff is, is my guess there. And then, you know, temp tempers ran hot a little bit and both guys get in a fight. And, you know, that's pretty much the end of it. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. You talked about um, being more process oriented in games and not necessarily always looking only at wins and losses. What did you think of the process of the way you guys played tonight? Well, I thought we had a good first. We had good jump. We had a bunch of, you know, rush opportunities, odd man rushes that we created. We were defending hard. Um, probably made a mistake or two to give up some scoring chances in the first, but I thought that we, we did a nice job in the first to getting on the attack. Second period, started to spend some more time in the offensive zone, especially early in the period. We were doing some good things, creating some chances. Uh, difference in the hockey game is, you know, we made a couple defensive mistakes and they found all well, the guy alone uh, on the back door on the first goal with missed coverage by our forward down low. And then... Um, they get the odd man rush and, and, and capitalize on that too. So I didn't think we gave up a lot of scoring chances against of quality, but didn't love a couple of those mistakes and ended up costing us. And on the flip side of that is, you know, they defended hard. I thought their goalie had a really good night and I thought, you know, we were doing quite a bit to create some chances, but probably at the end of the day, didn't make it difficult enough on their goalie to see some of the, some of the shots that were uh, or, or getting his eyes to take away his vision on some of the shots that we were taking, but fine line between winning and losing tonight. Because I thought we played pretty good for a large portion of that game. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Yeah, Jared, you kind of just touched on it right there in terms of it being a fine line. Is this just an example? I mean, uh, about a good team that, that posts 43 shots, but it just, seem like it wasn't your night and you're not going to win them all. Yeah, I think that's, you know, you're, <laughs> you want to win them all and you want to, you know, get after them. And, and, you know, for on this particular night, we just didn't do enough to win the hockey game, whether it was a mistake or two defensively, or like I said, probably getting in the goalie's eyes and making it more difficult on them or maybe capitalizing on one of those power play opportunities, um, had some good looks pretty good attack mentality for portions of those power plays, but didn't, you know, again, I think we probably made it a little easy on their goalie on those, even though we were coming to the net with the puck and trying to execute quickly and shooting the puck with opportunity. So 
goaltender made a big difference for them tonight, but they played hard. They played as hard and played as stingy in, in, in uh, all the games that we played them. I think the one game here, we had a really good outing and, and, and one with uh, a little bit of breathing room, but that game reminded me of the game. We just played them at home. I think we were up two one late. They scored with an empty net and they, I mean, they just capitalized on, on uh, a higher percentage of their uh, scoring chances than we did. And, and they ended up winning that one in overtime. So, um, you know, they played us tough. You got to give them credit. They're, they're, they're improving as a team as the year goes on. And, and um, I did not think we took them lightly. I thought our focus was really good. I thought um, some of the things we talked about looked really good for the most part of that game. But, you know, we got to Gotta find a way to capitalize on a couple chances. We didn't do that tonight, so they get the victory. We'll move, we'll uh, review it, show it, and move on. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. Go ahead, Terry. You have to unmute yourself. Okay, we'll move on. Peter Ball, the Athletic. Yeah, Jared. It looked like you thought about uh, challenging the. Um, I don't remember which first or second goal. Um, what what did you see on that play? It looked like maybe for offsides. Both both goals were close to being offside. Um, first goal was, I mean, for for us on the bench, uh, uh, like that puck was in the air, so it's hard to see it. Dark seats, you know, the background of the people in the seats and the stands when it's in the air, it's really difficult to get an angle on it. Look close. I'm I'm pretty sure just by that that one was good. Second one had a blocked view of, on the blue line camera as well on the one side. So you couldn't see the guy's skate when the puck crossed the line. That was close too, but we couldn't get a view on it on any of the angles we saw on the bench and sort of the screen isn't, isn't the best on the bench here. So it was difficult to see. We just wanted to make sure we were paying enough attention to it and kind of got the word from the video room that they look good. So we were just making sure we take our time to make sure we're not missing something that can help our team win. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank you.